Britain. Stop with the fucking clapping. We're not American. We don't need to applaud every single thing we vaguely approve of. Welcome to Rob Mulholland Has an Opinion, the podcast where I, Rob Mulholland, have opinions about things. How's the apocalypse going? It's good, isn't it? Good apocalypse. Uh, This is, I'm afraid, quite a serious episode today. Uh, I have a serious talk I need to have with the nation. Wind it the fucking with the fucking clapping. Jesus Christ. I'm done with it. I'm over it. It's got to stop now, right? We had a nice thing. Why the fuck are we rinsing it so hard, right? The initial clap for the NHS was genuinely beautiful, right? It was an incredible moment. It made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Lovely. Brilliant. But we've done that classic thing where we can't just leave a good thing. We can't just have a good thing and let it happen. We've got to have endless fucking sequels. Like, we've turned this clap into the Police Academy movies. That's essentially what we've done. One of them was fun, harmless, bit of fluff. But fucking six of them, we've gone, we've gone, we've gone to Moscow. That's what we've done with these claps. Like, we started off with the clap for the NHS. Obviously, we can all get behind that. The NHS is very stretched at the moment. They're doing a wonderful job. Fantastic. Everyone who works in the NHS, you can have another one from me. Here we go. That's for you. Enjoy it. Oh, good clap. Then we had the clap for key workers. And, right, already I was fucking... I was off this. That one was a bit of a damp squib. It was a proper, like, you know, it was a proper sequel. It just didn't really work. No one really kicked off with it because it was too muddy. It was too vague. It was too, like, you know, oh, we'll clap for everyone who's the key worker now. And then there's the bloody clap for Boris. And, like, look, in these straightened, hardened times, right, when he's ill... I don't, right? I've refrained from openly wishing death upon him, right? I feel like that's enough. I'm not going to go as far as applauding the cunt, right? Like, I hope I hope he doesn't die. I hope everyone doesn't die, right? I, I do. I'm not going to applaud him just because he's got fucking ill. Like, are we, are, we, are we applying that to fucking everyone? Like, if, like, Ian Huntley gets ill, are we meant to applaud him as well? Oh, I hope you get better. I hope you get better. Nah, fuck it. Like, right, I don't like Boris Johnson. All right, it doesn't matter if I do or not. I hope he gets better. I'm not fucking clapping. Piss off. Like, it's got ridiculous, hasn't it? Like, because the thing is, it started off as a clap. And then, like, obviously it escalated from there. Immediately, people were shooting fireworks off. I've, I've talked about this on here before. Like, where the fuck are you getting those fireworks from? But then also, like, everyone's sending their kids out with pots and pans. I've seen, like, grown adults hitting pans with spoons in the street. Like, they're on a fucking Butlin's Fun Club. Like, what are you doing with yourself? You're not in fucking stomp. Put your fucking pans down. Put your spoon down. Go back inside and wash your fucking hands. Honestly, it's embarrassing. It is getting absolutely fucking ridiculous. We've had too many bastard claps now. And the one that really pushed me over the edge, though, the one that really fucked me off, on Sunday, people were trying to do a clap for kids. They were like, oh, the kids are the real heroes in all this. What the fuck have kids done? How the kid, how have kids been useful at all? How have they helped? Oh, thank you for drawing that shite rainbow and sticking it in your window, little fucking Harry. Fantastic. I trust that's the last we'll hear of this coronavirus. Like, kids aren't helping at all. All that's happened to kids is they've, got, they've been forced to stay inside and play PlayStation. That's what they wanted to do anyway. Right now, there's no limits on screen time. Homeschooling's a fucking joke. No one's parents actually fucking bothering with that. They've got a long summer holiday. Like, clap for bastard kids. Like, these rainbows they're putting in the window are shite as well. There's one round the corner from me, right? This little bastard, he's put what he's put in his window is, uh, right, uh, like, there was like, put a rainbow and they put, after the darkest storm comes the brightest rainbow. Which, which isn't fucking right at all, is it? Like, that is not how storms work. I don't know if you've ever seen a storm, but you only get rainbows when it's sunny and drizzling a tiny bit. After a dark, dark, horrible storm, you just get dark, soggy, miserable, shitty weather for longer. Doesn't work at all, does it, you little kindergarten cunt? 
It's fucking ridiculous. Clap for bastard kids. I'll clap for kids when they fucking invent a ventilator, right? When they come up with a ventilator that we can 3D print, then I'll clap for that child. When they're down in fucking hospital hospitals saving our nanas, I'll clap for them then. Until then, they can fuck off back on Fortnite, the horrible little bastards. Like, all they're doing is pissing everyone off through the fucking walls. Clap for fucking kids. Unreal. Like, it just feels un-British all this. It feels like, it feels un-British to be clapping this much. Like, Britain, stop with the fucking clapping. We're not American. We don't need to applaud every single thing we vaguely approve of. We don't need to be out there like, yeah, oh yeah, nurses are good. Oh yeah, and firemen and uh, policemen. Oh yeah, and uh, and politicians and uh, the people who work for walkers because they make those nice sensation crisps and uh, cows because uh, I like cheese. We'll clap for cows and uh, Buzz Aldrin. He was good. He was a spaceman. We'll clap for him and uh, we'll clap for uh, the Avengers. They were good. They saved the world from Thanos. Oh, we'll clap for them. Oh, let's clap for the people who paint the sand on the road. And oh, let's clap for the trees and the sunshine. Fucking grow up. Go inside. Wash your hands. Stop being such a clapping little nonce. It's fucking pathetic. Done with it now over. We're not Italian, we're not going to have a little sing-song. No, we're not American, we're not going to keep cheering for everything. No, we're British. We're going to sit inside, we're going to drink tea, we're going to do shots, and we're going to be fucking miserable. That's how we're going to get through this. We're not going to smile, we're not going to have communal effort. No, we're going to get drunk individually in our homes and abuse each other, because that is the British way. There we go. Stop clapping. Wind it fucking in. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, and why wouldn't you have done? What a cheerful ray of sunshine this has been through the whole affair. Then you can, if you are watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of great shit going on, including my live chat show every day, 4.20pm. It's called Living La Vida Lockdown. Great guests every day. It's absolutely banging. You can uh, follow me on Twitter or Instagram. It's at Rob Mulholland. I'm on Twitch, Rob Mulholland as well. Uh, I go on there every now and again, playing computer games a few times a week. Oh, I don't really have a schedule though because uh, I'm a bad man. You can subscribe to my Patreon uh, for some great rewards. They're abs- all absolute bullshit but they're a lot of fun. Uh, it's at patreon.com forward slash Rob Mulholland. Any money I make on that during the corona crisis is going to the Trussell Trust to provide meals for those who desperately need it right now. So clap for me! Yeah, raising money for the Trussell Trust. Clap for me. I get a little clap now. Lovely stuff. Yeah. But the most important thing, if you have enjoyed this, please do tell your friends, share it around, spread the word. That's the most important thing for me at the moment is just getting the word out there that I'm making fucking loads of fun stuff. Yeah, that's great. So uh, that's all for me, I think. I'll be back with another one of these. Uh, If you're on the podcast, do remember to give it a like and a uh, five-star review, all that sort of stuff. So thank you very much for listening. Fucking stop clapping though it is honestly embarrassing uh, I've been Rob Holland. thank you I'll see you again with another one of these another time clap for me, clap for me clap for me, fucking clap